roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I just wanted to say we wouldn't get through this without our Discovery School staple here, so we have it close by just in case. You're not the only one that's going to need these today. <laughs> we love you, Mary. Hi, Mom. I know you're probably sitting here cringing with all of this attention, but you <laughs> deserve this more than anybody else that I know. Thank you for being such a wonderful mother, role model, and teacher. I've learned so much about love, relationships, and the art of teaching by watching you. <laughs> through that, you've taught me to be the best person I can be, the best teacher I can be, and I appreciate that. I love you very much, and I'm very proud of you. Mom, me, Kurt, and the girls love you very much, <laughs> and are very proud of you. Many people would agree that my mother has touched numerous lives over the years. I've been blessed with my mother's love for the past 31 years, and now that I'm a mother myself, I have a newfound love and respect for her. talk right to you. <laughs> I have such great admiration and respect for you, Mary, for what you've created here at Discovery. It's through 25 years of commitment and blood, sweat, and tears, you have created the bubble of love and creativity, as I love to refer to it. And as a result, children all over San Antonio have gotten this incredible start to their education. She has always been the heart and soul and complete spirit of Discovery School from the days in which we were in the basement of the Gramercy Church to the, handling the move here and developing everything that's come to be Discovery School. So the school takes this loving care of your kids, but also Mary extends a warm welcome and a hug and a shoulder and advice to every new parent that walks in the door. She always fought for what was right for what was just. When I'd serve on the board and as board president and it came time to work on um, the following year's budget, Mary did everything she could for her teachers and staff to make sure that they got as much of the pie as they could, even if it meant her losing some herself. She was dedicated to making sure her teachers had everything they needed. The children are her, her utmost importance and her teachers and her school. And uh, she loves all of us and she enjoys her work. And it's a, not a fun job all the time, but uh, she enjoys being here. She does a lot of work, you know, and I know that she loves us and she wouldn't be here 25 years, not after eight other directors. Didn't last that long. So we're very fortunate to have her. What makes Mary so good is that she's very compassionate and caring for each individual, not just, not just those that she's closest to, but to everyone. And she knows every child, every teacher, she knows everything about us. And I guess one memory that I have of Mar Miss Mary is that when my daughter was very, very sick, that I didn't have that peace until I saw Mary in the hallway. And uh, that was her, a comfort to me. And she still is. And she's, we were parents together and coworkers and friends. She's great. I'm just forever grateful to her as a teacher for all the support and, um, and the relentlessness in a wonderful way in the way that she brings her enthusiasm and guidance to us as teachers so that we can do what we do in the classroom, which is bring to life learning experiences to each and every child. So I, um, again, I'm just grateful that she has that commitment to the families, to the children, to the staff, to the teachers, and to all the friends of Discovery School that have been lucky enough to be blessed at some point in their lives coming through this campus. She not only has the children in mind first and foremost, she has the entire school in her line of vision. And she's innovative, she listens well, She's decisive so that she can guide the school uh, in very creative ways. And over the long haul, she's been able to do that. That makes her a top-notch director. 
Some characteristics that I see in Mary every day are that she's humble, she's a leader, she's a friend, and a teacher. And um, some examples of those are she's, um, she has an intrinsic soul-rooted motivation to do her job very well. And um, you can walk in her office and have a problem and she'll drop what she's doing and, and help you before she goes back to her stuff. Um, and she has a clear vision and a purpose for what she does and she keeps the best interest in mind all the time. Well, I can tell you my uh, funniest memory here at Discovery School, and uh, you may not want to play it back to her because she might not appreciate it, but it was a great event, one that I think about when I go down the road in my car and just laugh out loud. Mm -hmm. But uh, one day Mary came to school when the kids weren't here. It was a work day, and she walks in in her brand new jeans from The Gap, those were a big deal back then. Her daughters got jeans from The Gap, but hers were from Target. But this day she came in her brand new jeans from The Gap. And one of the things to do that day was to do painting around the school. And she had somebody paint, had Armando paint the benches outside. And immediately after he had painted a bench, she walked over and sat down <laughs> on the painted bench in her brand new Gap jeans. And she was so mad, she said a bad word that day. <laughs> and ran into the office, took her jeans off to try to wash the paint off. One teacher ran for Goo Gone to help remove the paint. Another teacher ran for a skirt out of the dress-up center in the classroom. And so she came back with this skirt about this big for Mary to wear while we were scrubbing her jeans out. And she's putting that skirt on in the bathroom and it was really hard for her to get it on and got on this little bitty skirt and then came stomping out. She was furious with herself, comes stomping out to dry her jeans outside, and as she passes my desk, I realize she has the skirt tucked in the back of her underwear. So she's walking outside in front of the people who are at Discovery School with her skirt tucked in her underwear, and I just lost it, fell apart laughing, and laughed so hard that I finally got her to laugh, and it kind of took some of the fury out of the day, but she's just... Uh, got a fabulous sense of humor and can always laugh at herself and that's what's made it great. She hired me to teach music here and I really wasn't sure if I was cut out to do this in the beginning. So I think I remember coming to her crying after a certain class of two-year-olds maybe left my classroom <laughs> the first few weeks of school and just wasn't sure I was cut out to do this and um, she kind of talked me down off that ledge very in her graceful way and um, encouraged me just to, to stay at least just until Thanksgiving was, was her encouragement. So um, here I am, 19 Thanksgivings have gone by <laughs> and she's still the person I would come to uh, when I need to hear the right words. And she can say the right words whether they're to me, she can say the right words to the whole Discovery School family, um, words of encouragement and, and, and just what we all need to hear. She's fostered such a community here, just a unique situation to have such a good friend as a boss. And um, who else can say also that their boss was, coached them through the labor and delivery of my own two Discovery School babies. <laughs> she was right there when they were born. Um, and we just think she's so deserving of every praise, every accolade anyone could give her this year. Mary, I know you must be squirming in your seat right now because that's who you are and you, I'm sure, uh, never wanted this to happen, but I think it definitely needs to happen because you are such a, you are the heart of this school and 25 years is a huge milestone and um, you, I cannot even imagine how many lives, lives you've touched. Um, and because I know... Okay. So, <clears throat> you've completely changed my life because I was a mom first here before I became a teacher, as you know. And a good friend of mine told me Discovery School, you have to go, you have to go. My, my son was two and I wasn't ready to let him go. And, but I made the phone call and you said, come on in, let's give you a tour. 
And I came in thinking, no, no, um, he's not ready. I'm at home. I, I'm going to be with him. And, and I came and I met you. And it was the beginning of <clears throat> my life here now. Um, I became a teacher because this is the place that I knew I wanted my children to be, and if I could be here with them, it was just extra. And sure enough, behind the scenes is just as awesome as just being a parent. Um, I got to know you, and so honored to count you as my friend. And um, I just want you to know that working here is 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 happiness. It is family. It is safety. And how many people can say that? And I just want to tell you that, you know, this is my sixth year and I've always been able to come to you and you are an amazing, amazing woman. And you have your own family, but we are your family too and we all feel that. And your, your advice, your patience, your loyalty, and your commitment to this school is priceless. So happy 25th anniversary. 25 more to come. Thanks, Mary. Love you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Also on the face